In addition to making WHOIS data publicly available, registrars must help ensure that the published data is accurate so that users of the domain name system can quickly resolve technical and legal issues related to the use of domain names. Under the RAA, registrars have several responsibilities to promote WHOIS accuracy. First, Registrars are required to validate and verify registrant who is information and account holder information within 15 days of the registration or transfer of a domain or after any change in the registered name holder. Who is validation and verification are described in Section 1 of the Who is Accuracy Specification. Validation involves ensuring that certain WHOIS fields, such as email addresses, postal addresses, and telephone numbers, are present and in the correct format. The formats are specified in Section 1 of the WHOIS Accuracy Specification. Verification requires verifying the email address or telephone number of the registered name holder or account holder if different, by sending an email and requiring an affirmative response or calling a telephone number or sending an SMS that requires response with a unique code, for example. If the registrar does not receive an affirmative response from the registered name holder, the registrar must verify the email address or telephone number manually or suspend the registration. Second, if a registrar has any information suggesting that the contact information is incorrect, such as a bounced email notification or non-delivery notification, the registrar must verify or re-verify the email address of the registered name holder within 15 calendar days. If the registrar does not receive a response from the registered name holder within 15 calendar days, the registrar shall verify the applicable contact information manually. Third, a registrar shall either terminate or suspend a registered name holder's name upon the occurrence of a registered name holder's willful provision of inaccurate or unreliable who is information, its willful failure to promptly update information provided to the registrar, or its failure to respond for over 15 calendar days to inquiries from the registrar concerning who is accuracy. Finally, Registrars help maintain WHOIS data accuracy by reminding registrants to review and update, if necessary, their WHOIS data once a year. This obligation is set forth in the WHOIS Data Reminder Policy, or WDRP. Registrars' annual WDRP notices must present current WHOIS data and remind registrants that provision of false WHOIS information can be grounds for cancellation of their registrations. The RAA specification on privacy and proxy registrations applies to any proxy service or privacy service offered by the registrar or its affiliates including any of the registrar's or its affiliates proxy or privacy services distributed through resellers and used in connection with domains sponsored by the registrar. The terms privacy service and proxy service are sometimes used by people interchangeably, but the specification on privacy and proxy registrations defines each of them a little differently. Privacy services allow a registrant to be listed as the registrant of record, but with alternate, valid contact information, such as a mail forwarding service address, published in place of the registrant's home or work address. Proxy services, on the other hand, allow a registrant to keep both its identity and contact details from appearing in public WHOIS information. The proxy service becomes the registered name holder of record, and its identity and contact information is displayed in WHOIS data. Customers who register domain names through a proxy service are the beneficial users of their domain names, but they are not the registered name holders. 
Please note that the registrar's legal business entity cannot be both the registrar of record and the proxy registrant. This is because the registrar is required to have a valid registration agreement with its registrants, but an entity generally cannot enter into a valid contract with itself. If a privacy or proxy service is offered by a registrar or its affiliate, the registrar must collect and retain the underlying customer's name and postal address, email address, and voice telephone number. Privacy and proxy services must publish the following on the privacy or proxy service or registrar's website. 1. Terms and conditions of their services, including pricing. 2. A point of contact for third parties wishing to report abuse or infringement of trademark or other rights. 3. The privacy or proxy services business contact. 4. The Privacy or Proxy Services Service Agreement and Description of Procedures for Handling Claims of Abuse or Infringement of Trademarks. 5. The Circumstances in which the Privacy or Proxy Service will identify the Privacy Proxy Customer, Relay Communications to the Privacy or Proxy Customer, and Terminate the Privacy Proxy Service and 6. A description of the support services offered by Privacy Proxy Provider and how to access these services. The WDRP applies to registrations in all GTLDs, including sponsored GTLDs such as .arrow and .coop. Registrars must maintain copies of each WDRP notice or an electronic database documenting the date, time, and content of each WDRP notice sent under the WDRP. Registrars must make these records available for inspection by ICANN in accordance with the usual terms of the RAA. In order to assist registrars in preparing the required notice, a model WDRP notice is provided on the WDRP webpage on the ICANN website. A copy of the notice is shown here. In order to avoid confusion to registrants, ICANN recommends that registrars send WDRP notices through their normal customer service channels. Use of unique email addresses, such as ICANN at yourregistrar.tld, has caused confusion among some registrants in the past and is discouraged. In order to assist registrars in answering common questions about WDRP notices, ICANN has posted a registrant FAQ page. Your registrar may include a link to that document in its WDRP notices if it would be helpful. The URL is provided here.